you had a pretty good scheme with Clark Lee against the option, maybe the best of the whole time you've been here. And then Marcus, after his first stab at it, really had it under control at Cincinnati. Do you pick and choose from each of those schemes? Do you try to learn from each of those schemes and maybe come up with something special or different this week? Yeah, so we have two of those uh, people on board, right? So Mike elston has been through 10 of these. Uh, and, and certainly, um, you know, Marcus had what he felt was <clears throat> a good scheme um, that he felt comfortable with at Cincinnati. So um, you can say the collaboration of, of that will continue to move forward with, you know, the, the successes of both of those you'll see uh, implemented in, in what we do on Saturday. Two weeks. How much is, of that has been kind of one play or offshoot of one play? I think you called it duo on Saturday. Or it, has it been kind of one you just gone to and blocked well? Or still kind of a variety of things? It's been a variety of things. Our counterplay, our misdirection counterplay was outstanding in terms of its efficiency. Um, but, you know, I think providing um, a number of different options, I'll give you an example the touchdown pass that uh, Tyler threw. You know, that was a run play, um, but they left the number three receiver uncovered, and so the ball got out on the perimeter. So having that um, versatility um, and having other options off of the run game, if you start to try to um, add too many people to it, has, has helped the run game as well. You know, we asked you a bunch about Lorenzo Styles and sort of his physical ability. I was interested about his upbringing that played Ohio State, played the pros, like how much that has sort of influenced what kind of player he is on game days, but also what kind of practice player he is. I think it's a very good question. Um, I can't answer specifically um, about um, his dad and his work ethic, but obviously he was an outstanding player, so you would think that that, and he's got a brother who's an outstanding player as well. Um, but I can tell you that, um, and I've been in the home, um, that is unmistakable that um, uh, Mrs. Stiles is driving uh, a lot of this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, she is, uh, she, she is a, a, an incredible mother and a, and, and a strong figure in that family that has, um, in my eyes, has created such a discipline and, and how Lorenzo acts on a day-to-day -day basis. So when he comes to practice, he's prepared, he's ready, he's disciplined, he does that in the classroom and he brings that to the football field. So a lot of that is the parents and what they do in the home. And, and that is reflected in the way he's developed. So I think his parents have definitely influenced him a lot.